yes that really says it's three degrees <laughs> that's actually one of the warmer mornings we've had this week it's 6 12 i do have to go to work here in about 15 minutes but i just wanted to show you part of the order that came in i had a 2000 part order come in and i looked it up and it is the second largest order we've had in our store since i opened and what's ironic about this is i actually closed down for four days so that i could focus on that but i did leave a bypass password so people could still shop in my store thinking i would maybe get one or two small orders <laughs> this i was not expecting and it was also bought by someone who is a subscriber to my channel so i'm really happy about that my husband has been pulling the parts this is just part of it i think this is less than half of it and he's working over here on the rest of it he's gonna pull it and then i will double check it to make sure that everything is all right while he's working on that i have been working on getting some of the inverted slopes into inventory because he bought 2000 parts it bumped me back under a hundred thousand so my goal this weekend is to do at least 125 parts into inventory per day to get us back up to that hundred thousand so this is the start of my long weekend i will be working today until two or three o'clock and then my husband and i are coming home He's going to continue to work on the order. While he's doing that, I will be working on these. Then tomorrow and Saturday, I will be double checking that order. Happy New Year's Eve. It is 7.16 in the morning. And yes, it's one degree and my shop is 64. <laughs> Probably why my hands are shaking. And today I am going to be working on double checking that 2000 part order. I was missing quite a few parts. You can tell by the little tags. So hopefully he understands that that happens. And when you order 2000 parts, it's definitely going to happen. <laughs> Once I get through this, my husband still has a couple of parts in the house he's going to get. And then I can get this boxed up and maybe even take it to the post office today, but I'm not holding my breath. I've got a lot of other stuff to do. The 2000 part order cleared out quite a few containers. And here's some more of that order. But once I get through this, I'm gonna check those and make sure that they are truly empty and put the containers as available. And then I need to put away my Christmas stuff and continue on with adding parts into inventory. I'm probably about halfway through my inverted slopes, probably more than halfway through. These are ones that are scratched or have a lot of micro abrasions and don't have the gloss to them anymore. So those will go in my filler box. So that's my plan for today and I will keep you posted. Just got back from having breakfast so it is 9.05. I have about 30 minutes and then we're going to go run some more errands. But I got about half of the order double checked and my husband said there's two more parts in the house and he's going to bring those out to me but still have a ways to go. <laughs> I'm back from running errands and I am down to the last four pages on this 30 page order. So I just have this little bit left to double check and I still have all of this I need to bag up and then I need to figure out how to get all of that into a large priority box. I am almost done with this order. I have it kind of separated out. I'm going to put these into probably one gallon Ziploc bag. So I wanted to kind of sort them a little bit by color. And then we have all the miscellaneous ones in here. 
I did end up with 18 missing parts, which sounds like a lot, but 18 out of 2,289 you know, we're going to say is not great, but really not that bad either. And five of those 18 are right here. And what it is, is I had these marked as reddish brown and they're actually brown. He did order two brown of these, which I had. So I'm going to go ahead and include these in the order because I think he'll still be able to use these, but I won't charge him for those. These two, this one, you probably can't see it because of the lighting, but there, there we go. There's some deep gouges in that. So this is something I would, would have pulled out of inventory had I noticed it earlier. This one, same thing. Um, it's broke. It's missing one of the little tabs here. So of course, I'm not going to put those in and I will refund for those as well. So I'm going to spend a few minutes sending him a message, letting him know exactly what's missing. Most of these were one part missing out of 15 to 30 parts. So he's still getting quite a few parts out of that lot, but it's just missing one. And I feel bad that I have so many missing, but that's just the way it is. I should be able to get this bagged up and get it in the mail today for him. So I'm going to work on that now. I have them all in the gallon bags. So I am getting ready to put them in the box. So this is what a 2000 part order looks like. <laughs> Good morning. It is January 1st, so Happy New Year. You'll notice that it's 9-11 and that does say minus 10 degrees. <laughs> so it was a very cold morning. <laughs> and I did get that big package in the mail yesterday. The buyer was happy that we were able to get it done in a timely manner and he completely understood about the missing parts, which was awesome because there's always that fear of somebody getting angry that you don't have the parts that you said you did. So I do have two orders to work on today and I still need to get some parts in because yesterday afternoon my husband and I just played games all day. So we didn't get any Lego stuff done yesterday afternoon or last night. So to this morning I am working on these and I hope to get these done so I can also get some parts into inventory. And then this afternoon, my mom's coming over so we can play some more games. I think I mentioned this before, but our family is really big on playing games, card games, board games, that type of thing. So I'm going to get started on this. It is 1133 and you'll notice it is now zero degrees. So it has warmed up a little bit. I have been working on getting some stuff into inventory. I was able to upload 481 parts for about $50. I also have been working on updating my spreadsheets for 2022. Because as I've said before, I'm a big spreadsheet person, so all my financials and stuff are on Excel spreadsheets. I also got all my Christmas stuff that was on that table put away. Well mainly put away it's all sitting over there <laughs> but it'll go in the box here in a little bit i got one of the two orders done and i'm working on the second one i'm about halfway through that my husband's going to double check it since i am a little tired today and i want to make sure that i have it right i was going to work out here until about 12 12 30 but my son texted me and I need to help him with something for a little bit so I don't get as much time to spend out here today as I had planned. But that's usually the way my weekend goes. Good morning. It is Sunday morning at 1035. I've had kind of a busy morning. I've been working on not only my personal financial stuff, but I have been getting all this stuff together for the end of the month and end of year for my business. 
Here is the monthly expenses. This year was actually a pretty good year. It wasn't our best, but it certainly wasn't our worst either. And we were able to meet all of our expenses and still had a little bit of a profit. Here is the profit and then our profit after taxes. We do put quite a bit aside for taxes, but we rarely use all that. So we will have that money basically back to us after we get our taxes filed in February. So we should be good to go. I didn't have a lot of expenses last month just because of the holidays and I was on vacation and I had my store closed for a few days. So it really did turn out to be a good month. It really helped to have that large order too. It was a nice way to end the year. I haven't gotten as much into inventory as I'd like. We actually ended up with a few more orders yesterday. So we have these four that I still need to process. My husband double checked that one for me. So I just need to bag these up. We also had our first eBay order. So that was kind of exciting. It was just a small one, but it just lets me know that maybe it is something we'll want to pursue this year. The rest of today will be spent working on these orders. I need to do my weekly video. I do have an idea for that. And then I also have that box there that will be a Lego haul video. So I do have some stuff to do today. I'm getting kind of a late start because of doing the financials and also because we had to run and do errands this morning. Other than getting the orders ready to mail, I don't think I really got anything else done today, which is kind of a shame, but, but I spent a lot of time working on the financials, recording the video, and getting that edited. So not a lot got done, but before I close out this vlog, I did want to show you the puzzles that I got in the summer. I bought the two Lego puzzles, and then I took them out and had them professionally framed, and I love the way they came out, and I can't wait to hang these up out here in the shop. My husband and I still need to do the puzzle with the minifigure heads, and that one will also get framed, and that one will go into his computer room where he works on all the minifigs. Now I just have to talk him into getting these hung up for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it that thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.